This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winning, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to do. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Why? Why is everything 3D? Okay, but... Um... I guess it's meant to be like that, uh, that 3D effect. Anyway, um, welcome to the Stanley Parable. It's a weird game, I've been told, and uh, but I've never tried it, and I've never tried the one before it, um, the one it is made or based on. Um, but yeah, this is... Uh, His co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yeah, maybe we missed a memo. No matter memo. how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Okay. Turned off. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, <laughs> but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Sorry, let me continue then. Looking around. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Nope. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood and here, beautiful it, it all, is. Eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nope. Let's just do it this time. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Nope, I didn't. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go um, uh, from here it's um, um. Okay. Oh no, no, it's to the right, my mistake. Yeah, your mistake. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... This is... Hey, you hold on for a minute? Annoying. Please decide. 
Dude, lace this eye. Okay, yes, I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Uh, okay. Then we'll just go this way. Hope you're glad now. What no, the? No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay. I'm closing. I'm closing it. I'm not looking. Back to um. It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. What? This time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay. From the top. Okay. We just try again then. I'm on my office and then I walk. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley... Wait, wait, what? No, I... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Yeah, Stanley, something did, did change. Did change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or... Uh, hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay then. It's an adventure. <laughs> Come Stanley. Um, let's find the story. Yeah, let's find it. Probably in here and around here. And tick tock tick tock. And in here, I guess I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you, there definitely was a story here before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You say so. You to restart the game again. No, no, I no. find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. But it's got to be better than this. No, no, no. Okay, let's give it a shot. No, 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 no. Let's just find the story and set up that shit there. Okay. Uh, we try again, and then we hope. Co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yep. We try this again. Okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Okay, we try. Yeah. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. No, wait, never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Okay. Um, I don't think this is... Um... Now this... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It... Is that correct? Hmm. Do you yeah. remember Stanley? Would well, you know what? Yeah, Since he I was in an office building. Supposed to be doing. How about this? You win! Yay! <laughs> well, this was the a lot of hard work and it really paid off. So, good job. Oh no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. Hey. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time, I have to restart. Okay, uh, it's quiet. Um... Hey. Alright, I've got a solution. 
This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Yes. Let's follow the line. How simple is that? Let's follow this linear. Hmm. Ah, let's just do this and. You see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Nope. Here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? <laughs> whoa, 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 hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like yeah, to yeah this got a little bit weird too. Where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Yeah, go win another job. Adventure. Cut the music. Go back and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Yep, it's a fern. Standing in this room. Okay, let's continue. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No, no, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Nope. Oh, no, 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 not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Well, I can't take this anymore. Oh, uh, why don't I have any 3D glasses that will make this more awesome, since it is 3D? You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, I'm in. This all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Mm, nah. Okay then. Only because it's the dorm. Now, yes. This is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go on. <sighs> Use your imagination. Please. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Pirates. Oh, no, not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. We should be fine. Yep, I'll just ignore it. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay, so I know that each door has to lead somewhere. Which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. 
So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Mm, Come Stanley, yeah, I follow that logic. Destiny awaits. I don't think it's right. Oh, hold up, what's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game what, eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? Mm. It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Or what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't. Well, it. I won't do it. I won't. I will do remember. It. Don't worry. And the timer stopped. Does that mean? Um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The um, um, whatever it is that made this schedule. How would we even know? Yeah, how would we know? Come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. Hmm. Well, this is quite the interesting thing. Um, it's hard to read these things because of the. I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination. I would agree. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination, so I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime. What? Then again, restart it. Um, it's hard to read the text because of the three D effect. I assume it is meant to be there, but it's just weird. Like, sure. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting. Now, did he Perhaps forget everything? Mr. Memo. Yep, he did. When Stanley came to a set yep. two open doors, we are back and door on his left. I didn't even read what happens next. Let's try this this time then. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Tomorrow, complete today's unfinished agenda items, right next day's agenda, reflect. Yeah, that's my kind of work. Using slides to assure everyone is unique. You, mo you most of all. Number of slide of this slide: charts, slides, charts, and slides. This makes no sense. Rate at which ah don't care. To do synergize call value expect expenditures shift global market parade monetized free to play. Stanley stepped okay. into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around. Don't close the broom. Track. Broom closet. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I did exactly that. Because I am Stanley. Oh, 
why are uh, there? Okay. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Okay. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. <laughs> <laughs> I like how how this is turning out. It is uh, quite the game. I don't really know what the fuck is going on, but uh, I think that's how it's meant to be. I somehow I don't hope there is anything. Explanation in the end of this it game, it would be cool if it just like ended with nothing. To question the nature of his job, why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Although yep. this passageway had the word escape, Let's go down the truth this was way. that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Escape, escape, escape. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making okay. a conscious, concerted That's an escape too. That's how you see. They confront his death. Yep. But there's no death when you're Stanley. Only repeat. Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise. He reflected oh, what? that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story. Oh, what? Trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plugging the eyeballs from a blind man. So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. There was Stanley. I'll just look in here. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. <laughs> and yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as okay. ever. Okay. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? The Stanley. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Okay, that was uh, interesting. Is this the ending?
Okay, this is uh, quite the thing. Nature paintings. Not quite the thing. The office. Button sound. Okay. And crits. Boss's office. Office clock. Okay, if this is really the ending, then um, I didn't think I would find it this early on. Yeah, that is quite the thing. Okay, but um, this was a interesting game. I might try it another time just to see what other options there are. If it's not just a ruse and there's no no. Uh, Not in the real life, uh, not the real choice, but maybe they just trick you into thinking you have a choice in situations. But um, I think oh, look at these I'll people. try walking to How that Stanley Parable door again. Uh, over here, oh, not again. The exit here. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. Okay. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for for you. Don't let time to Yes. Why not? Yeah, I'm dead now. But that's... Okay, let's end thing. Hope you enjoyed this.